Hey there folks, today I'm bringing you another doubles battle that I had uh, against an opponent who I found through the Wi-Fi room on Pokemon Showdown. Yeah, I mean, it worked for me. I don't know if it'll work for anyone else. Please post, actually, if you've managed to find a battle in the um, Pokemon Showdown Wi-Fi room, because that would be awesome to hear. Anyway, my opponent went by the username Potato Random, and uh, looking at his team, I see no reason not to go off with, uh, to lead off with my standard lead combo of Mamoswine and um, Rotom Wash. Pretty effective combo because you've got the Earthquake plus Discharge. So he leads off with his Scissor and um, his own Rotom Wash. I don't want to take a bullet punch this early in the match. So I go out into Treedledum, my, um, shoot, I know the name of this Pokemon, I swear to god, uh, Trevenant. There we go. See, I told you. Uh, but interestingly enough, he decided to switch out his scissor as well, so, oh well, that's too bad. But I guess I could have also been printing a, um, a Hydro Pump there too, so either way, uh, Rotom is going to take the Volt Switch, uh, and uh, strangely enough, scissors right back out. So, um, kind of an interesting first move. I just go for this chart because Trevenant doesn't really care, it's it resists it. Although Trevenant does get paralyzed, uh, but that's okay. Trevenant, Trevenant has natural cure. I actually paralyze his scissor too. That's nice. Um, and Volcarona takes a bit of damage. Not a lot, but a little. And a little bit of damage against Volcarona is better than nothing. Volcarona, man, I I have the hardest time with Volcaronas across the spectrum. Doesn't matter where I, I see them. It's just like they are they are tough to deal with, unless you're playing with Stealth Rock up. So goes for a Quiver Dance. Um, usually setup moves don't generally generally tend to be a good idea in doubles, but here it's really a good move, especially considering um, the person the Pokemon that's going to be attacking is um, you know special. So, anyway, he's going to go ahead and U-turn out, so he's just doing a Volt Turn strategy, uh, and luckily Rotom does survive with just a smidgen of HP. Volcarona is still alive, um, but at far lower health than I'm really comfortable with. Um, I just went for the Will-O-Wisp against um, Scissor to try to cripple it, but instead I, I hit his Manetric. Manetrics don't tend to run physical, so that doesn't really help me. I'm imagining this is going to be a Mega Manetric. I mean, he could be doing Mega Scissor or Mega Aerodactyl, but I'm not. I honestly don't know. Uh, I guess I will find out soon. Um, but Manetric is one that I'm betting on. I mean, of all, the, of all of those three Pokemon, that's the one that's worst in its non um, non Mega form. So anyway. Uh, Treedledum is going to get taken out due to a Fiery Dance, and this Volcarona is getting quite scary. It's now at plus two, and yeah, as I said, quite scary. And I'm going to lose Tachikoma to th uh, this turn as well to a Thunderbolt. Tachikoma, um, you know, you did a decent amount of work, so you good for you. Uh, so here I'm going to get uh, Free Switch into... Or both of my Pokemon are going to get Free Switches in because I have, they're coming in on the um, on KOs. So I got into Cosmic F. Um, First of all, uh, so Cosmic F is my Hitmon top, uh, carries a bunch of nice doubles moves, and then the Fubu Loop has priority, so that's why I sent it out. So because even though um, it, even though um, Volcarona is going to resist an uh, Ice Shard, it should still KO at that range. Um, yeah, I mean because uh, Mamoswine's attack is through the roof and it stabs, so uh, he actually withdraws both Pokemon on the same turn. Uh, I don't know why you would waste. All those boosts that you had with Volcarona, I would just let it die. So I go ahead and fake out. I actually faked out the Manetric um, so that I could Ice Shard, uh, so that I could Ice Shard here, and ah, eh, whatever. So that I'm gonna have to call Fubu Loop back. Don't want to keep it on this turn, and I'm gonna go out into my own Scissor. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what my thinking was here, except for I'm running out of Pokemon. Um, so Rigo does resist the bullet punch. Yeah, I was expecting the bullet punch, so that's really why. Um, and here my uh, hit on top gets burned, but I'm actually playing this guy as pretty much a support set, except for this close combat right here, and Rotom takes that quite darn well, considering, you know, burn. So that, that's, um, that is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, so scissor is going. His scissor is going to get withdrawn here. I actually prefer red scissor over uh, yellow scissor. That's just me. I don't. Know. Uh, I have cosmic F go for the helping hand to boost scissor's attack. See, it doesn't actually matter too much that it's burnt because I've, I'm running so many support moves on him. I go for the bug bite against Rotom, boosted by um, helping hand. That is going to net me the KO, and that is a dead Rotom. So yay! I've gotten a kill. I've gotten a kill. Woo! 
Although, okay, Vol Volcron is dead uh, the next time it comes in. I mean, it's it's down to pretty low. Minetric is taking damage from that burn, residual damage, but doesn't really matter. Um, so, Cosmic F is getting hurt by the burn. Out now is going to come Volcarona, and um, I'm thinking this guy might be running Protect. Um, so, that's going to explain this next move. I go out into Kira, my Gardevoir, uh, and... So it's, it's out now. Manetric is going to Mega Evolve here. Um, that means Intimidate, I guess, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so Manetric Mega Evolved goes for the... Uh, it gets the Intimidate, and Scissor's attack is going to be lowered, but that's okay, I can switch it out. I go for the Feint here, just in case uh, his Volcarona had gone for the Protect. It takes out Volcarona, and that I don't have to worry about it anymore. So that's great. That's fantastic. And now I get to see what Manetric is going to do. It actually goes for Flamethrower against my Scissors. So I'm not sure what Volcarona was doing. Maybe it was going to try to boost, but I don't know. I mean, yeah, it was it was gonna die no matter what. So I would have just used it as an I would have just attacked with it and then had Manetric go for a T Bolt or something. But whatever, that is a dead scissor. Uh, now is going to be his old scissor, and I'm going to go out into Poopaloop. -poop. Now that bullet punch, that priority bullet punch, has me uh, quaking, but I'm hoping that um, Mega Gardevoir's defenses are high enough that I can take it. I'm pretty sure I'm running max uh, HP. I don't. I'm not running speed investment. I'm pretty sure. So um, Manetric goes for the protect, and uh, actually, oh yeah, Kira goes for the protect too. Right, because I wanted to, you know, I was predicting the bullet punch. Scissor gets fully paralyzed anyway, so that kind of sucks. Um, Kira protected itself, Manetric protected itself, and um, I go for the Earthquake, right. And that's going to take out, it doesn't take out Scissor actually. It comes close to taking out Scissor, but does not actually take out Scissor. So, yeah. Poop loop Ice Shard, take out Scissor, that is phenomenal because now, um, you know, it's, my Manless one is going to outspeed that Scissor anyway, so no matter what move he went for, so now I don't have to fear. Um, yeah, I've got Assault Vest and I've got um, Thick Fat, so Flamethrower ain't going to do too much. Hyper Voice is going to take out Manetric, and things are looking really good for me. I'm up 3-2, he's down to his last two Pokemon. Uh, and they are Diggersby, which I've not actually been against, been up against a Diggersby yet, especially not in doubles, so I'm kind of curious to see what it'll do. And then we got Aerodactyl. So, um, Poopaloop goes for Ice Shard, it's gonna hit Aerodactyl, gonna get it down. It doesn't KO, um, because it does have a decent amount of bulk. Uh, Aerodactyl goes for the, um, Tailwind, uh, this is pretty late in the match, but whatever. Um, and is going to go for the EQ. I think both my Pokemon can take it. Um, Kira doesn't, so I'm not sure if he's banded or just... I think Diggers B is just that massively offensive. Uh, and it does have a life orb, so that helps. So I'm hoping Cosmic F... So Cosmic F is burned, and it's going to stay burned. And nothing I can do about that. Uh, I'm going to get the Intimidate off, so that's going to help a little bit. And I'm thinking, okay, just take out... Um, take out Aerodactyl with another um, Ice Shard. And meanwhile, wide guard to prevent against the. Oh yeah, I actually fake out Diggers B here that, because I just wanted the uh, flinch there. And yeah, okay, that, so that kind of sucked. Um, neither of his Pokemon is taken out. Poopaloop has Poopaloop's dead, uh, down to 13 HP. Um, but you know, I figured that I, sh I can still do the same plan. I go for the wide guard here to protect against the earthquake. Um, because, yeah, I just figured that would be a good move. Instead, he shows me he has the quick attack, takes out Poop Loop, and I'm like, well, crap. I went from probably winning this game to now having definitely lost this game. Um, because I'm burned. I got nothing I can do. He's going to go for Ice Fang. Ain't going to do much because Cosmic F is pretty bulky. But I'm burned. I can't do anything. I really just can't do anything. And, um, you know, it's, this, is, this, this is good game quite easily here. Um, so Aerodactyl is going to go for the Rock Slide. It's resisted, but what the heck does it matter anyway? Diggers B is going to outspeed. Um, goes for the Earthquake, uh, and Cosmic F is dead. So, that is the game. I lost, but it was close, and I have no regrets. Um, it's totally okay. So, great game, Potato Random. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this match. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.